What up, what up, what up, good people? It's your boy BTG, aka Bust Them Guns. Back at you again with another tabletop review. This one here is kind of by request. So we're coming at you in the middle of the week. Weekend's gonna be a little hectic, so I might not be able to get back at you, but we'll see what works out. So I did a short on this setup. Uh, just kind of a, a truck gun emergency kit type setup. And I got a lot of requests to talk a little bit more about what's in the case and about the case itself. So uh, the short was, what's in your 2A emergency or first aid kit? And that's kind of a play on words on the uh, case looking like a first aid kit. So this case is by Peak Case. Uh, they designed a real nice case. They do them specific for certain firearms. Uh, you see them for the CZ Scorpions. They have some for the uh, Mossberg Shockwaves. Uh, they got them for these Maxim Defense PDXs. So they got them for different firearms. I've seen them for the Remington, the uh, V3s for their compact shotgun. So it's a few of them out there. You, if you follow the channel, uh, you see I've got one for my for my Rock Island uh, VR80, for my 12 gauge. So they're not cheap, but they're a real nice case. So you kind of get what you pay for. You get your money's worth. So the spoof was, what's in your 2A emergency kit? And I just kind of did a quick preview uh, keeping it 100, it was actually supposed to be a short, uh, but you know, coming out the gates, not being completely familiar with the options, uh, I couldn't get it to fit in the portrait recording, so I flipped it uh, horizontal to do it landscape, and I didn't know that you couldn't do a short landscape. So you live and you learn out here in these YouTube streets, so it is what it is. Uh, it's a YouTube one minute video on this bad boy that I did, just kind of introducing the case. But uh, let's talk about it. I'll discuss the case. I kind of modified it a little bit just to kind of make it work for me. But the way it comes is more than adequate for the purpose it's supposed to serve. What I've got in here, I've got the uh, Maxim Defense 300 Blackout PDX. Uh, this is a nice compact setup. Uh, and the way it comes, you really don't need to do any modifications to it. It's ready to go. So you can put your accents on there just to put your accessories. But as far as internals, it's rock solid right out the gate. And uh, it's a two layer case. So on the top, you've got your magazine holders. These are actually for 21 round magazines or for pistol magazines, but I modified it. So I've got two 20s up top and then I've got two more 20s here. And then underneath, I've got it set up uh, with the pistol. So it comes with the pistol set up. So this will fit a full size pistol. I've got a compact in here, but this will fit full size. So I've got two more 30s under here for the 300 blackout. And then I've got four 21 round magazines for the C. So you're pretty well equipped. This is a nice travel kit. You pack this bad boy up. Uh, it's got a combination lock on it, so you can seal it up. Uh, don't have to worry about it being easily accessible. And you're ready to roll. I've got a sling that I usually keep on it when it's in the case. Uh, the holster, I don't have the holster in there for the SIG, but I'm thinking about modifying one of these slots so that the holster can go in the case just so I can keep it all together. Right now the holster just sits in the SIG case, but um, this is an awesome setup. It's a hard case. It feels soft, but it's actually a hard case. So it's rock solid. You don't have to worry about uh, the firearms taking abuse in there once you seal it up. They're well protected and you're ready to go. So let's uh, take a closer look at the firearms. I got a lot of requests to talk a little bit more about the firearms, exactly what they are, and discuss the case a little bit more. Uh, these cases are, man, I think anywhere between, what do they run? I think it's like one, is it 170, either 170 or 230. But the price is pretty standard across the board, no matter which one you're getting, they're about the same. So, uh, but like I said, you get what you pay for, it's worth it. So let's talk a little bit about the 300 Blackout. So this is the Maxim Defense PDX. This is a five and a half inch barrel and there's no magazine in. So you can see the bottom's clear and we'll rack it and we'll stick one of these empty 20 rounds in here just for aesthetics. Uh, I run these Lancer magazines. These are the Lancer uh, smoke magazines. So you can see your rounds in there. So I like that setup and they've been dependable. I really like these Lancers and I like for the 300 Blackout, they've got the FDE 
base plates on them. So I like that look. But this bad boy, five and a half inch barrel from front to back. Just let's take a close look at it. It's a pretty nice setup. So as far as accessories on here, uh, the brace, this is their patented brace setup. If you're familiar with Maxim Defense. Now this here, this is their proprietary buffer system. So this is, and this is, a, you can pull and rip that to get that out, but it does have a lever here. So you've got adjustable places on there. One, two, three. So you got four different adjustment points, but it's a compact package. So usually when I'm running it, it's fully extended. But this is their proprietary buffer system. So this is about a four inch buffer tube. And the buffer itself is probably about maybe two inches. But the setup is designed to where it extends off into the boat carrier group. And that helps shorten that package. So you're not running a detent in there to hold a buffer. Uh, it's a proprietary system. Uh, so the disassembly is a little different. So when you're taking this bad boy apart, you both basically popping both pins out and you're lifting it up off of the lower receiver. And same way when you're going back in, you're sliding it back down in there like that. Once you do it a couple of times, it's no big deal. You're used to it. And uh, it's just like clockwork. But this is a real nice system. They do sell these braces for standard ARs for the full size buffer tubes. So you can get this brace if you want to run this type setup for your AR without having to change anything but the back end here. So you want to have that proprietary buffer system. It'll work with your current buffer system and you'll have this set up, but it'll be, obviously it'll stick out a little further because it's going to be for the full size buffer tube. But yeah, it's a nice setup. It's got a little weight to it, but it's a compact package. So it doesn't matter. This is a billet lower and upper receiver. I like the different shades of FDE. Uh, and you got about three or four different shades on here, but I'm good with that. But as far as the way it's equipped, this is a Gosley trigger that comes in it at the factory. Uh, you got Gosley safety on here. So that's a nice setup there. The trigger is about a five pound trigger, uh, which is not bad. I mean, you got, for what you're gonna be using it for, you don't want any mistakes. So you wanna know that that bad boy is not going bang until you're ready. So. Just a little bit of take up, you're on the wall. A little bit of take up, you're on the wall. Bam, racket, reset, short reset, and you're still on the wall, bam. So nice trigger setup, gets the job done. Uh, ambi safety, uh, mag release is also ambi. So you got mag release both sides. Uh, standard bolt release, so no ambi there. Uh, up front, I'm running uh, the Strike Industries aluminum rail, I mean hand guard that I like. And this one's in FTE, but I like that setup. I like the aesthetics of it. So that's a nice look. Uh, the slate side panels, and that's that old light Baldia Mini that I like, the laser light combo. Uh, if you follow the channel, you know I'm not really into the big lights. I like it compact. This is a pistol light, but it works for me. Small light, small package. It gets the job done. This would be for self-defense. So it's 600 lumens. That's more than enough for a self-defense situation. Uh, as far as sights, I think this is Bow Brother. These are real low-profile sights if you look at that. So I like those. Nice and low cut. And if you move the magnifier out the way, you can get a lower third co-witness through the optic there. So they sit just high enough for you to get a lower third co-witness. But these sights are nice. I like the low profile look of it. They lay right down on the rail. They're out of the way, not bulky. Uh, we got EOTech set up on top. So that's uh, sight magnifier. Package like this, obviously you don't need a magnifier. I like the look, so we got the magnifier. But uh, up front, this bad boy's got Magnum Defense Hate Break on there. And this is, well, it's a blast director, so it's directing all that blast out front, but it also helps to build up the pressure and sends a little pressure back in through there just to help with cycling and help with reliability. So this bad boy is extremely reliable I've had zero issues out of it. It runs. 
I enjoy it. Uh, you got a little flared mag wheel there for quick reloads if necessary. So I like that. And this is their grip that comes on there. I just added the little rubber sleeves just to give it a little more texture. I didn't want to change it, but I wanted to give it a little flare, so I just put the sleeve on there, give it a little contrast. But this is a nice compact package. Charging handle. This is the uh, Radiant Rafter Ambi charging handle that you get out of the factory. You do have forward assist, but this is a nice tight package. Uh, this weapon was born out of, uh, I think, a DOD contract. And so they started with this, and they've just been building on that platform. They got some nice weapons on their site. They got some longer ones. Obviously, they got this one. They sell them in SBRs. This one's got the pistol brace. So it's whatever you want. But this is a nice setup. I do have a sling that I keep on here when it's in the case. Quick disconnect on the back there. So I run it as a single point, but you can switch it off and run it as a two point sling if you want. You got quick disconnects up front. So however you want to run it, but I keep it in there as a single point because that's what I prefer. But this is the Maximum Defense 300 Blackout PDX, five and a half inch barrel. That's a nice setup. Uh, as far as the pistol in the bottom here, this is my SIG P320 X Carry. Let's go ahead and clear it. So, weapon is clear. Nothing in the magazine. So, this weapon here has actually been discontinued. This is the X Carry. So, this is the 3.9 inch barrel. So, you got the lightning cut on top. 17 inch, I mean, 17 round frame. So, you got the long frame, that X Carry frame. And I've got the uh, 21 round magazine that I just switched out to the Strike Industries base plate there, which is a nice style. I like that. Got the logo up front and it looks nice in there against that FDE. So I've got a carry style mag well on there. So it's a low profile mag well, more so for aesthetics and just to kind of complete that grip. So that works perfect with my hand. Uh, once again, the Olight Baldia Mini, laser light out front. Don't really need an optic on it. It's self-defense. If I pull it out, uh, I'm going to put the laser on, so no need for an optic. Uh, and plus, I want to keep the rear sight. On this particular model, similar to the X5s, if you put an optic on it, when you take that plate off, you lose the rear sight. So I didn't want that. And it's got nice sights. So you can see there. Uh, yeah, my direction's not that good. But yeah, you can see. Nice sights. So I like that. They're night nice sights. You got the green dot up front. So this is a nice piece. Uh, this was just a handle grip that I cut out and just put in the insert there. Just to give it a little contrast. Uh, put it in the front. I didn't put it in the back. I left that as it is. But this is a nice piece. Uh, they ran it for a while. But then it came out with the compact. I guess the compact did better, so they discontinued this one, but I like it. I end up finding it, I think I found it on Gunbreaker, Gunbroker. Couldn't find it in any other stores because it was discontinued. So I found it on Gunbroker, low round count, still in like new condition. So this was a nice find. So I keep this in here. I did buy a holster for it. This was a, I think it's a legacy holster. I don't remember the name, but Nice holster. So, like I said, I think I'm gonna cut out one of these lower slots and make room for the holster just so I can add a holster in the case with it. But, nice setup, fits on there nice with the light. Yeah, it's a pretty cool setup. But this is my travel kit. This is my emergency kit. You can call it a truck gun, whatever you like, but uh, it gets the job done for me. I like it. I've had it for a while. Uh, I knew once I saw the case that this was going to be perfect because you can travel with it. And once you close that case, it's discreet. So unless somebody knows, they have no idea what you have. So once again, 2A emergency kit. Everybody should have one. This bad boy is a grab and go item and you equipped with pretty much everything you need and it's a hold you down.
So if you get pent down, it won't be a problem. But once again, it's your boy BTG, AKA Bust Them Guns. Sorry we went a little long, but I wanted to go over it. I got a lot of questions about the case. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, holler at me. I might get back at you on the weekend. I might not. I'm gonna try to put something else out there for you. But until then, holler.